Good evening. It is Monday, September 25th, 2017. This is the team call for Team Be The Change. And today is going to be, we're going to talk about motivation because this is something that um, I actually did a live, po a live video today. There was a coach um, who I just um, recently saw on her page. She did a really fantastic, it was about a week ago, it was a Motivation Monday live video. Um, and she talked about like what motivates her and um, in, in a number of ways and it was extremely inspiring. And so um, I did my own, you know, based off of what she did and I did my own and it, it got me thinking like, we all, we all really need to key into what, what our own motivation is. Cause I spent, you know, most of today and part of yesterday thinking about this um, and kind of what I wanted to say. And, but, you know, I'm still not, I'm still digging into what motivates me. And so um, there's a couple of things that I, um, some tools that I know of that I haven't fully gone through yet um, that I want to share with you tonight. And then also um, just like some thoughts and some things to kind of get you going, thinking about how to um, really dial into what your motivation is for having your own business, for helping people, for, um, you know, for sticking to this. Because, I mean, the main, one of the goals of this, you know, your goal should be to be here in a year. Um, every single day, your goal should be to be here a year from today. Um, and, and without understanding fully why, why you want to do this and why it matters to you, it's very hard to keep your momentum up. It's, it's a challenge to stay engaged when you have bad days. Um, something else that um, Melissa talked about, or I think she just did a small post the other day, maybe it was today, in her team page, um, something that, oh no, 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 it was um, Keith Callahan's team page, um, which his team page, if you're not in it, it's Tribe 2.0. Um, and so something he said from the Boston Super Saturday, um, where Carl Deichler was there. Um, and Carl said, stay in the mindset as though today is your day one. Like, keep that excitement, keep that, like, butterflies in your stomach, um, and keep that in mind when you're, you know, getting ready to, to talk to people, when you're getting to, um, when you're doing your inviting, when you're, when you're doing the, whatever it is that, that you're doing. Um, stay in the mindset as though, you know, get excited as though this is the first day you're doing this. This is all new to you. You've, you know, you've got that like, you know, manageable fear that kind of like amps you up and you're ready to go. Um, so I'm sorry, you guys, my contacts give me trouble at night. Um, so as far as some of the things that, um, I want to talk about motivation. Um, when I did my live video today, um, some of the things that I touched on and spoke about were that you, that you can dig into. Um, so there's obviously, you know, it's totally, totally open to you, but just to kind of get your mind going, some of the things um, that can be your motivation that you can start thinking about are, you know, your, your physical health, um, your physical transformation. So whether you, um, you have you know, an illness that you need to manage, whether you have, you know, some weight you need to lose because you want to be around for your kids, because you want to set a good example, because you want to feed your family well, because, you know, you want your family to be healthy. Like the physical um, motivation is a big one. Um, another one obviously is financial. Um, when we, you know, yes, it's wonderful to help people, um, but we can't, keep doing it if we're not, you know, making money and we can't do it effectively. Um, you know, whether or not your goal is to come home or not, um, from your job or whether or not your goal is to cover your shakes. Um, it's important, you know, the financial side is important and that, you know, I don't want to say that it's not, um, you know, and, you know, to cover your shakes and to cover, you know, your beach body on demand membership. Like I, I don't think I've paid for mine, mm -hmm. um, since I started and, um, I'm sorry, my eyeball. So, um, so the, the, the financial side of it, I mean, obviously there are, there are tons of coaches who have brought themselves home from their jobs and, um, 
that's a big driver, you know, for a lot of people, so many people out there are not satisfied with what they're doing. And so many people really, you know, they're looking for something that's rewarding and they're looking for something that they can actually do. And the fact that they can make money by doing this, like that is an opportunity for them. I mean, of course there's the income disclaimer, which is Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success. Um, every coach's success is based upon diligence, effort, and skill. Um, so, you know, again, if you're making some sort of post or anything about that, do include that um, as, as like a disclaimer on your post. It's, it's important. Just because you don't want people to think that, oh, well, we'll just sign up and, and we'll start getting paid. And obviously we know that's not how that works. <laughs> um, so another great motivator is um, the emotional you know, transformation that you might be going through, like personal development, being part of a community, being part of a team, um, you know, overcoming your own fears, overcoming, you know, body image, um, overcoming, you know, fears of whatever it is that holds you up because we all have, we all have our fears. We all have different things that, um, you know, make us crazy and make us um, irrational. And, and we, we all need to work on work on that, you know, and if you meet somebody who says that they don't like they're full of baloney. Um, so any sort of emotional growth and emotional change that you're experiencing um, to continue to, to grow, that's an incredible motivator, especially, I mean, well, for me, it's, that's one of the biggest motivators is um, I, I, I don't, I don't currently have a physical transformation that I'm working on. I mean, my goal is to maintain physically where I am. Um, but emotionally and mentally, that's where I'm focusing my growth as a coach. Um, you know, getting my mindset right, getting, you know, finding ways to deal with my fears, finding ways to become a better leader and to be, a, you know, a better friend and a better um, coach and a better, you know, mother and wife, you know, all these things that, that those are what I'm working on um, as far as my own transformation right now. Um, and so those are what motivates me because I know that every time I connect with somebody, like I have the opportunity to help them with that, um, whatever they're going through. And so that's because I've been through these things. And so the more I can work on myself, the more I can, you know, better help people. Um, this is as far as motivation, I wrote this one down, you know, I, this isn't one that I'm currently um, working on, but if you, you know, revenge is a good one. Like if you want to look great, you know, <laughs> and Bryce, are you laughing? <laughs> but it's so true. Like whatever your motivator is, like I wouldn't, you know, suggest that you really focus a lot of energy on that, but it can be something to get you going and, you know, and dig into it. It can be kind of like a jumping off point for you. Um, obviously I wouldn't hold on to that. And that's where the personal development and the emotional development comes in. Um, but to be honest, like that's something that does motivate people, people, you know, you get, you go through a breakup and you want to, you know, make your ex sorry. And so you get in great shape and you, you know, you get happy and you, all these things. I mean, and that gets you started. Um, so that's, you know, something to consider, obviously, like I said, don't focus too much on that one. Um, but do, you know, if that, if that floats your boat and if that kind of sparks something for you, then by all means, like, you know, explore that a little, um, you know, altruism is a big one, you know, giving to others, helping others, um, being somebody that, um, has others, best interests before our own you know that's that's what we do as coaches we are here to help others um there's a really great quote by i believe it's zig ziglar and he says you will get everything in life that you want when you help other people get everything that they want um, it just comes to you i mean that's that's the definition of our job we help people reach their financial goals. We help people reach their physical goals. Um, we help people and in return, we become fulfilled. We grow our income. Um, we, that's what we do. So um, that's a big one. That's a big motivator. Um, I'm listening to, I'm sorry, you guys, I have to grab some water. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. 
sorry about that. Um, so I'm listening to a book called Grit, which um, I believe, so like I know Melanie Mitro, Beachbody Top Coach, she read it, I listened to her podcast, um, she talked about it in a couple of different episodes. Um, Jeff Hill, I know, talks about it on the National Wake Up Call, he is reading it, um, or has read it, but I started listening to it, and it's pretty dense um, just because she's a psychologist and she kind of speaks like a psychologist and she cites a lot of research and her own research and but at the same time like she has a lot of great information um, and something that I heard just recently was then this is from the book she talks about um, like she wants to find out what makes people gritty and by that she means like what makes people stick to something long term um, and she talks about um, the the grittiest people. She calls them gritty people, which I think is funny. Grittiest people. Um, they exhibit both an internal and an external motivation. And so, what she means by that, and like the example she gave is, I guess she. Um, she looked at uh, firefighters um, and she did an interview uh, within a, a couple of fire departments of firefighters who earned, um, or, and she looked at their overtime work. And so firefighters who responded that they enjoyed their job and that they were helping others. So like, that they enjoyed their job was the internal and that they were able to help others was like the external motivation. So the people that responded that they had both of those ended up working harder um, and working more overtime than people who only responded one or the other. Either they liked their job or they enjoyed helping people. Um, and so I guess the takeaway from that is, um, you know, your, your motivation can be multifold and it's, it's good to have multiple motivations. Um, and, and the reason for that is because, I mean, we're not always going to have the same, um, the same motivation day in and day out that lights our fire. You know, we do have to have things that, you know, multiple tools that we can pull from our toolkit, um, of motivation. So, um, something that I have not done yet, but that I do need to do, and I, I started this evening, but I haven't gone very far, um, is to dig into what they call the seven levels of why. And what that is, is basically you, you pick something that you believe is one of your motivators and you write it out and then you ask yourself, so say like your motivation is weight loss. Um, and then you say, okay, well, why do I want to lose weight? Well, because I want to feel good. Well, why do you want to feel good? Because I currently have poor self-confidence and I don't like uh, to, you know, I'm uncomfortable naked. Well, why, why do you want to look good naked? Because, you know, and you go on, whatever, whatever it happens to be. Um, you know, it could be anything. It could be, you know, my family. It could be you know, why, why do I want to become healthier? Because I want to inspire my family to be healthier. Well, why do you want to inspire your family to be healthier? Because I want my family to, um, you know, eat well and, and be, and make their own choices. You know, you, you dig into it. And when you get to that seventh level of why, that is your purest and truest level of motivation. Um, and, You really, I mean, you really need to like dig down deeply, deeply into. Amber, where are you? <laughs> are you at McDonald's? <laughs> I stopped to get my husband McDonald's and I refused to go through the drive through while you're on this call and hand McDonald's bags in front of the camera. So he's, I'm here and he went inside and then I was trying to set it on the steering wheel and my phone like toppled down. So I'm like, all I can think about is you're on this call and my little tiny picture is like slinging all over the place with McDonald's in the background. It is not for me. It's for my husband and my kids. But I was like,
like, this is going to be the worst. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> worst incidental little image inside of a beach body coach call no ever. Because no I was afraid it, it was going to be this shot with, like, the bottoms of the McDonald's bags, like, right. passing over, so... And then I felt bad because I knew I was distracting you because my, my stuff was, like, flying everywhere. It was, no, I just saw the look on your face. I just saw the, the guilt. <laughs> and then did you see, did you actually see McDonald's behind me? Okay. I was like, did I make a McDonald's face? <laughs> Is that what this looks like? Oh, and I am red as a beat now. Okay. Oh, Sorry. No worries. Sorry we're, we're all real. I forgive you. Everybody forgives you. Everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so you know the seven the seven levels of of why will get you deeply deeply down into what your true motivation is, and you can you know you make a list for yourself. You have it somewhere where you can read it. You pull it up because everybody has the hard days, you know, and it might be a hard day or a hard week or a hard month or a hard year. And you need that to keep you going. You need to know why you're doing this and what drives you personally, because what drives me is not the same thing that drives you. What drives you is not going to be the same thing that's going to drive your coaches. Um, and so we, you know, you have to find out what's right for you. You can't just take what somebody else has. I mean, if you come to the same conclusions, like that's great, but it's really, really important for you to dig into your own why, um, and, and your motivation. Um, and whether it's for your business or whether it's for your fitness or whether it's for, um, you know, your nutrition, what, whatever aspect of your life that you're working on, um, you know, whether you're trying to be a calmer parent or a, you know, a happier, more loving spouse, or if you're trying to, you know, look and feel your best. I mean, all, everybody has bad days and the best way to overcome them and not just fall into a slump where you slide backwards is to keep your motivation at front of mind. Um, so, um, Question that that's that's what I got for tonight. Questions? <laughs> so guilty, but no, no questions. <laughs> this is my motivation. <laughs> it's awesome. taking my family to McDonald's. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks everybody, and we'll be back next week. <laughs>